How much does it cost to own a condo in Toronto per month? What are the monthly carrying costs for a Toronto condo? Let's calculate how much would it cost me every month to own this Toronto condo. Hello friends, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent and Mortgage Broker, Research Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're going to look at how to calculate the easy and fast way, how much that condo is going to cost me per month. Now a lot of talk finally have been coming about the Toronto cost per month versus the rent. So we are investors. The first thing we need to know is what our expenses. That's what we're going to focus on today. Um, quick intro, real quick, twitter.com slash EOC Kaplan. You'll find all this stuff here, all the videos, Google, youtube.com slash EOC Kaplan for my video channel. Lots and lots of uh, videos about real estate and great information on and on and on but let's focus today on the monthly carrying costs. So I'm going to go to torontocondosforsale.com, one of my sites. Um, you get here information about new construction and resale and assignments, all three together. I'm going to go to the menu, listings. Do this with me. Open torontocondosforsale.com on your screen, on your phone and go to the menu, listing and residential search. Okay, so this is the page. I'm going to put Toronto. Complete for me. Great. Uh, the property type, I'm just going to focus on condos. So I'm going to check that. And the listing status only for sale. I don't want to do for rent right now because I'm an investor. I want to own. I want to see how much it's going to cost me a month and do the search. So here are the results. I put Toronto, so it gives me this. And you can scroll here <coughs> and see all the units available. Lots and lots, of course. <coughs> just take example, this one here. That's a 290 Adelaide Street question in 1906. And you can see here the asking price is 599000 It's for sale. Now, on this specific site, if there's a discount on the price, we'll show you right here the reduced. And it's going to give you the estimate mortgage is 2145 a month. So that's usually based on 80-20 rule, um, which is what you need to get your cheapest mortgage possible, at least without the CMHC and all that stuff. When you scroll down, we'll show you the annual property tax. This is the estimate, of course, and the maintenance 340 a month. Okay, so that's the beginning. Now the cost of ownership in Toronto, you basically summarize these three, your estimated mortgage, 2145, plus your taxes, divide by 12, so that's about 200, plus the 340. So two plus 340, 540, plus the 2145, give you about, say, 2600, okay? Something like that. So I'm gonna make it a bit more accurate. I'm gonna go to the condocalculator.ca, go to the condocalculator.ca, which I've, I've made for you. It's a free download. Put your name, put your email. I'm not a robot. And the system will send you an email back with a link to this spreadsheet. Download this spreadsheet and use it in privacy. There's no login required. No one going to check or look at what you've done. So it's absolutely private. Down, download it to your own computer and use it on your own computer. If you like, or upload it back to your own Google Docs. It's going to work. Okay, the condo calculator, we're going to look at, uh, there's a com you can compare three, con three condos here. So I put Toronto Core, one bedroom, 500 square feet, and I put the price of $550,000 for this one, okay? Anything you see in the yellow, enter value, values in yellow, and anything you see in green, those are the results. So do not touch the, uh, do not touch the green, just the yellow. So 550, you can put 500 if you want. And this relates to resale, more or less. So obviously 500,000, 500 square, feet, $1,000 a foot. Deposit required at 20% is 100,000. And if you were to buy this in four payments of 5%, the system shows you at four times uh, 25,000, total of 100,000. The mortgage required will be 400,000, which is 500 what you pay for, less than 100. So 80%, 400,000. Now this is the interesting stuff here, monthly expenses. So the system will, <coughs> the spreadsheet I've designed for you will estimate the, your condo fees in this case, it's a, um, I had it on 65 cents. Now I know from the listing, I know from the listing that the condo fees are 340. Okay, so what I can do uh, now I have 345, so it's a little higher than 65 cents a foot. Let's try 70 cents a foot. This is yellow. I can change that value, so it's slightly below 70 cents a foot. Say 68 cents a foot. Okay, so it's about 68 cents a foot. Uh, the con the uh, taxes that I saw here said 24, 22, divided by 12, that's about 200. Uh, last time I used it, I had a 60, value of 60, so I'll try maybe 0.58, 240, even a little less, say 50. Okay, that's about right. That's good enough for me. 
And the mortgage the system uh, offered me here, and I'm not sure what it's based on, 2145. Uh, here, at 2.79%, uh, it's more or less 1849 at 2.89%. That's more or less what's uh, going on here, 1870 a month. Total ownership cost of 2418 a month. So the answer to how much would it cost me to own this fictitious condo that I just calculated for, it's going to cost me $2,400 a month, give or take. Now, the give or take, there's some fixed costs and there's some flexible costs. The fixed costs are, of course, your maintenance fees. Okay, I cannot change that. I mean, some condos do lower them. Usually, they go up by a couple percent a year, 340 a month. And the taxes, which are fixed, yes, you can overcome that. You can you can send a letter and all that stuff. But for now, we'll take it the way it is. So these are fixed costs, of about 540 dollars a month uh, for the condo, which is pretty good. You know, most of these condos are about a buck a foot per month in in carrying costs, the fixed carrying costs, plus your mortgage if you have any. So I go back to my calculator here. So 2418 a month, that is the cost I'm going to need. That is my break-even cost. So when I go to the cash flow analysis, look at the break-even cost, 21, 2418. The cost per bedroom, because I only have one bedroom here, it's the same cost. And the rent PSF required $4.84, $4.84 a square foot for rent. And how I came up with that, I simply took the, the 2418, divide by 500 and that's where you get to this number you can see it up here in the formula okay let's escape okay now the rent achieved what you need here this is yellow you're gonna put the rent if you want to see the cash flow negative positive or break even obviously if you have two thousand four hundred eighteen dollars per month income in the rent that's gonna be your break even point zero dollars annual cash flow two dollars okay that's some rounding in there in the sense and your, our, your annual ROI is zero now if you get less than your break-even point you're gonna get let's say I only got two thousand a month okay so now I'm losing the difference but if you got three thousand a month hundred dollar a night uh, then I'm making money and of course I'm in positive cash flow and positive annual ROI the focus on this video is to focus on the month, total monthly costs. So I'm going to focus on that. Now let's look at a second example. Let's say I bought an off-core unit. It's a two-bedroom, 600 square feet. Let's say I paid even less for it. Let's say I pay 550 for this unit just to make to make the the difference larger. So the so that's 917 dollar a foot. A 20% deposit 110, and the mortgage required is 440. So the costs are pretty more the same. When I leave the maintenance fees the same at 68 cents a foot, the municipal tax about the same rate, and the tax the, and the um, mortgage at the same rate. Now this unit, I need 2,700, 2,694 per month to break even on this unit, okay? But because this unit has two bedrooms, the break even is the same, but the cost per bedroom is half. And of course, my rent PSF required is slightly less um, because this unit is cheaper PSF. Now, in this case, if I could get 2800 for this two-bedroom unit, each of the roommates paying 1400 I'm just over break-even. I'm making 106 bucks a month, or about 1200 a year, and a slight annual ROI. This is cash on cash. does not include your appreciation of 1.16%. And the third, I'm, I'm running quick here. If you have any questions, put it in the comments, and I'll answer. And the third example here is I pick a West End. These are all fictitious units, but more or less similar to what you can find on the market. 900 square feet. I had 850 before when I was playing with numbers. Let's say I get it for 825, just to make it fun. So it's 917. Okay, I got to the same dollar per foot. Let's say even slightly lower, because you expect the dollar per foot to be slightly less as the unit goes larger. Uh, and then my 20% will be 160, the mortgage will be 640. So the maintenance, on the maintenance here, it's a straight line, 68 cents a foot, 612, municipal tax 333. So it's nearly $1,000 a month to carry this unit, just a fixed cost. And the mortgage here is uh, coming to almost $3,000. And the carrying cost for this unit will be 3937 Okay, so that's here. The cost per bedroom divided by three now because I have three bedrooms, is 13, 12. So you see the cost per bedroom is more or less the same for two bedroom and three bedroom, but the monthly carrying cost is 4,000, 39.37. Okay, and the rent PSF is slightly lower. It's almost the same as two bedroom, but slightly larger. And if I receive the rent of 3,800 a month, I'm losing a bit of money, so I want to get 4,000 a month 
to get the more or less break even point. And remember the monthly cost for this fictitious unit, the one bedroom was 2418, the next one was 2694, 2700, and the last one almost $4,000. Now, if I want to reduce this monthly cost, there's only one way to do it, which is play with the mortgage. Why? Because the fixed cost, the maintenance and municipal tax are always the same. So the monthly carrying cost, the expenditure per month for me as a landlord, as an investor, if I want to reduce them, there's two things I can do. One is I can get a better mortgage. Let's say I can get a 2.69. Those do exist. And now all, the, all these numbers reduced and suddenly I'm in the positive here okay you can see here i'm talking about these numbers here or what i can do is i can put more money down and for the sake of arguments in the occupancy point i'll just say let's say what happen if i put 10 percent across the board for each of these units there you go and now the mortgage has been reduced 1600 1760 25 and my break even has been reduced my cost per bedroom has been reduced and the rent psf has been reduced and now i'm looking at a lot more favorable rent achieved annual roi much much better in this case okay so that's what i need to do now remember a lot of people are kind of stuck about the 80 20 and you can see from the comments on my videos a lot of people are getting worried about the 80 20. well my friends as investors and i think in this market you have to be ready to the fact that you're going to need more than 20 percent down in order to reach a viable investment a break even point even a cash flow positive situation in that case you need to buy cheaper units or put more money down and get cheaper mortgage in order to do these things okay but the promise the premise of this video is to calculate the monthly carrying cost not so much to get into the market how it works just remember that the more money you put down okay and i'm using this is for pre-construction but i use it for resale the more money you put down obviously the better your income becomes what happens if i put the 10 the 20 percent plus 20 percent 30 percent here but what happens if now i want to do even more i want to put 50 percent deposit just just let's try it okay so i got five 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 that's 10 and 10 is 20 and 10 is 30. let's make this 20 percent and now i got to 40 let's make this 30 and now i got 50 percent down paying half of the condo fees up front okay that's what's going to happen now now obviously the total deposit is quarter million dollar here 275 here, and 400,000 here and you'll be surprised how many people can do this. The mortgage required is cut by cut by half. So 250, 275, 400. The fixed cost, remember, the, the maintenance fees and the municipal tax are fixed costs. If I pay the whole thing cash, that's all I have to pay. If I pay half of the thing cash, number monthly costs on the one bedroom is 6091, 1895 for the two bed, and 2774 just under 3000 for the three bedroom. And the cost per one bedroom break even is, is the same as the monthly cost and the cost per bedroom is the same on the one because i divide by one 947 per room if i'm looking at the two bedroom and 925 if i look at the three bedroom if the red psf required less than four dollar a foot which is more or less the average in toronto so if i get less than four dollar a foot it gives me a good indication because i can be in a positive here okay and the rent achieved let's say i got uh, 2200 for the one bedroom oops okay so i'm making 500 bucks a month that's very nice let's say i got 2800 <coughs> for the two bedroom still makes sense 1400 the room i'm making 900 dollars a month okay and if i get the same 4000 for you the unit for the three bedroom i get 1226 a month with income of fourteen thousand seven hundred nine dollar a year this is cash on cash not including any other expenses not including any anything else just cash on cash and 3.6 percent in the three bedroom 3.95 percent in a two bedroom and 2.44 percent for annual roi cash on cash ignoring everything else of course um, for this one bedroom unit now it doesn't mean you're going to go and buy the unit based on this calculator you're going to buy the unit based on what you can afford first of all and second you're going to do the decision as best to you what you perceive as the best possible unit you can get with your money and every investor is different. Some people like the core, some people like off core, some people like the West End, the East End, in Toronto, outside of Toronto. You know, that is your personal choice. Some people prefer to invest in stock, in bond, in condos. It's all good. 
I focus on condos, I focus on investment condos, and specifically, I want to see how much it's going to cost me per month, so as an investor, I can be ready. Now, the last week example I'm going to make is what if I pay the entire condo for cash? Well, and I mean, of course, don't forget there's also a tax situation where you have to pay tax. Go to your accountant to talk about that. I'm no accountant. I'm not going to give you a tax account. Uh, any tips? Just not my thing. Five, 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 five. That's 20 plus 30 is 50. I need 50% more. So let's say I pay the whole thing in cash and there's 100%. No mortgage. I put 500 here, 550 here, 800 here. Okay, so now my fixed costs, my monthly carrying costs are only my fixed costs, which is the, the maintenance and the municipal tax. Now, you may have other costs, but not a fix, you know, something broke, you got, you got a fix, or insurance, or whatever it is. I'm ignoring all these here for your information. But now my, my carrying costs, and the one bedroom is 548, 637 on a two bedroom, and 945. That's actually how much I need. And if I keep those rents from before, and remember yellow, you can change the, the amount, actual rent, okay? So now I'm making 1652, the difference between the rent I get, less the monthly fixed costs, and I'm making close to $20,000 a year on this unit. I'm making $26,000 a unit on this unit, and I got a positive cash flow of $36,656 on this unit. Now percentages, it's not that much. Why? Because our rise calculated with the money I put down, which is very, very high in this case, um, you know, divide by my, uh, my sorry my, my income divide by what I put in because I put in a lot the annual ROI is actually around the four percent here almost five and about four and a half percent here but nonetheless in terms of dollars it's pretty high nineteen thousand eight twenty twenty five ninety ninety four and thirty six six five six and that is a power of leverage my friends that is a power of real estate and this is how you calculate the condos monthly carrying costs. Again, go to the go to the Toronto Condo Calculator to download this thing, and you can go to torontocondosforsale.com, pick any condo. The system will show you the price for sale, estimated mortgage. In our case, in in the in a spreadsheet, it was a little lower, and these are fixed costs, 24, 22. Don't forget to divide the tax by 12, because it's kind of confusing. It's a trick question. The tax shows you annual divide by 12, and the maintenance does show up a month. Okay. So that's it for today, my friends. I hope this was a good video for you. Any questions, post at the bottom. Very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much <laughs> for all your views, your like, your questions, your up, your down votes. They all count. Please like and subscribe. Let your friends know about this channel. It's really hard to get the channels, the YouTube channels to everyone's uh, attention. But I really appreciate it if you share with other investors. Thank you very much. This is how you calculate the monthly carrying costs. And that's it for today. You'll see you.